Hi friends, as you may or may not have heard, there has been a patch for Batman Arkham Knight released. It was uh, about three or four days ago. So I thought I'd uh, see what improvements have been made. So here we go. You now get some warnings, which is basically your system appears to have four gig of RAM. In order to achieve the best experience, you require six. Okay, I've still got the same system. The graphics card changed. Uh, I have now gone down to the 7870. This warning is a pain in my bum. Okay, it says, uh, you appear to be running outdated driver for my video card. Uh, no, I don't. I will let you know that not 30 seconds before I started this game, I went to AMD and to Raptor and double checked. And 15.7.1 is the most recent version. So you're lying to me. Uh, I will show you the options I'm using and the new layout of this. The graphics options. As you'll see, I'm running full screen. Uh, 1280 by 720 uh, V-Sync is off I'm going to turn that on just to see if it uh, stops screen tearing it doesn't seem to affect the amount of memory I'm using as you see in the bottom right we now have a bar for how much VRAM we're using I'm going to set it for 60 frames a second and I'm going to for the time being leave everything on low or off or as low as I can take it okay I will say I'm using a standard HDD drive rather than the suggested SSD drive. The drive I'm using is a 1 terabit. It's SATA 3 but of course I'm using a SATA 2 board so I'm going to lose a little bit of performance that way. You will notice that I do get frame rates dropping down to 3s and 60s. I think that's a load error. You see it seems quite a lot smoother at the moment. Uh, it seems to be, it gets laggy at times, but it's not as bad as it was before this patch. Uh, as usual, I am running this with everything else in the background turned off. Right, I was experimenting with this before, and I can do some extra bits and pieces with the detail and uh, the shadow quality on this. If you'll notice in the bottom right, if I take the level of detail up to maximum, which is high, it doesn't change the memory usage at all from the video card. If I turn up the shadow quality to meet to normal, it's fine. If I go any higher, obviously I overuse the card. Same again, if I take the textures up to anything but low, I go well over what the card can do. So, But I can run it with normal and high on these and everything else still off. So what I'll do is I'll jump forward a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll take some more stuff in a few seconds from later on in the game and we'll see how it looks with... Well, some more car phone and maybe a big fight. As you'll see, the game is working better and it doesn't look that bad. Uh, Warner Brothers are still not re releasing it or releasing the DLC for the PC version yet until they are completely happy with it. So they've still got some work to do, but it still is a little bit RAM hungry. Uh, I would totally recommend having absolutely nothing going on in the background if you can avoid it. At the moment, I've got Fraps and Audiosity going on. I was running it with MSI Afterburner checking everything and it was running the graphics card 100%, CPU 100% and every single bit of RAM on both the system and the memory card in use. So I say if you've got a browser open it causes problems. So I would recommend running it with absolutely nothing on in the background. As I said Warner Brothers are selling it at the moment. You can still buy it if you type Arkham Knight into Google and hit shopping you'll see it's available for less than 10 pounds. I will however leave the link to the Steam forum because there are people still complaining that they're not being able to run this game even as it is now. People getting crashes now and get the game started. So this patch obviously isn't a universal fix all. It seems to work for me a little bit. Obviously my system is uh, well below the uh, recommended requirements. The only thing that's anywhere near it is the graphics card itself. They have lowered that to the 7970 for the AMD cards. It is definitely a, a step in the right direction. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, well let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.